Hi everyone! In today's video I'll show you how to create an easy, yet charming and simplistic character in ShapeLab. If you're a beginner in 3D modeling and have struggled with creating something cohesive in style without spending too much time on it, this tutorial is for you. The style I've chosen for today's video is minimalist 3D illustration, which I believe is having a big moment right now. I've always admired how effectively this style communicates ideas while maintaining an effortless look, so let's just take a moment to inspect some examples. At first glance, this style might seem super simple, right? But in reality, creating these exaggerated, cartoon-like designs can sometimes be more challenging than crafting lifelike ones, at least in my experience. The biggest challenge here is maintaining a consistent level of simplicity all throughout. Small, subtle decisions can make or break the entire design. For instance, if you think about the modern Disney style, its most recognizable features include the pointy noses and large eyes with distinctive eyelid shapes. However, combining this style with a different design approach might not work very well. In this tutorial, we'll create a very simple character, and if you enjoy this type of modeling, you can experiment further on and develop your own style over time. The first step is to gather as much reference material as possible. Keywords like minimalist 3D characters or 3D illustrations can help. And once you've gathered your references, it's a good idea to sketch out your concept before jumping into VR. While this is a personal choice, do not hesitate to try sketching, it doesn't need to be perfect. As you'll see, I'm not a professional at drawing 2D drafts, especially for this style, but even a rough sketch can sometimes be incredibly helpful. So I have my references, my mood board, and my sketch. Let's just dive into ShapeLab. My main goal here is to keep everything as smooth and clean as possible. I'm not too concerned about topology here, but I will try to keep a low poly count. I typically start my sculpts with the head, and this time is no different. The first thing I do is turn off dynamic resolution to help maintain smoothness. Once I have a rounded cube shape for the head that I am happy with, I'll add the base for a beanie and then create some simple hair locks. To define the edges, I use the pinch tool, duplicating the locks a few times to build the front of the hairstyle. I add a torus for the beanie cuff and shape it using the move tool. I then duplicate more locks to fill the back of the head. At this point, you can already modify these steps to make something unique, experiment with different hats or hairstyles, but if you want to follow the steps exactly, there is absolutely no shame in that. Next, I move on to the face. I start with a cone for the nose and smooth it down, giving it a look reminiscent of claymation characters. For the eyes, I use two small discs, and for the mouth, I delete half of a torus, smooth it out, and position it where it looks good. For the ears, I carve out the center of a disc shape and place it on each side of the head. The neck is simply going to be a stretched out cylinder. By now, you should have a clear sense of where this is going. Uh, the key is to use basic shapes for each part of the model and modify them as little as possible. I 
I go on to shape the body and add the sleeves of a shirt. I duplicate the body base and make it a little bit bigger. I carve out the neck hole and trim down the bottom so it separates from the body. For the pants I add a rounded cube shape and a cylinder for the leg that I'll mirror onto the other side. I join it together, smooth it down, place it and move out the legs. I accidentally didn't record the part where I made the hands, but I'll try to explain what I did here. So I added another block with rounded edges and put the four longer ones that look like sausages on top of it. I merged the whole thing together in the end and just like before I smoothed the whole thing down. For the shoes, once again I put down a block with round edges. I keep on using the same principle in order to keep the model cohesive, uh, but the shoe part especially can be a bit tricky. I was thinking of the least amount of shapes that could get me something recognizable, so I made three stripes for the top and modified the torus to fit the bottom shape. I made the bottom of the pants a little baggier so it would look like it's sitting on top of the shoes. If you mask out other parts first, it can give you sharper folds, although in this case I had to use the pinch tool a little bit for the edges. So coloring is the only thing left. There is no special thing to consider here, I just used the color combination I felt was fitting. This is another stage where you can customize your model. I used the paint bucket tool to fill all of the objects one by one. For a waxy looking figure, use a higher roughness value, but maybe not totally high. And there you have it! You've created your first minimalist character in Shapelab. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was something you could easily follow if you're new to all of this. And I challenge all the pros to do something like this for fun. Please feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments and we welcome all of the results on our Discord channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.